Welcome back to Drive Genius, and it's time for another scouting report video. In this video, we'll take a look at T. Higgins from Clemson University. Higgins is a 6 foot 4, 216 pound wide receiver that finished the 2019 season with 59 receptions for 1,167 yards and 13 touchdowns. He was part of a Clemson squad that finished 14 and 1 on the season and with the national championship game appearance, ultimately losing to LSU. So let's take a look at his game and see if he has what it takes to make it at the next level. T. Higgins has an ideal frame for the position. He's tall, standing at 6 foot 4. He has really long arms and really long legs. The most important thing though is that he uses his frame extremely well on the field. He's going to have a size advantage over most guys he'll be going against, so it's important that he utilizes that advantage well. I believe Higgins does this. He's a true X receiver, a guy that you can line up to the boundary and take advantage of his skill set in one-on-one -on -one situations. Higgins isn't a blazer like a Henry Ruggs III, but he's got some sneaky good speed if you ask me. It looks like he's not running very hard at times, but Higgins is tall and he has long legs, so he covers ground very quickly. Any DB that sleeps on his speed will be shocked once he gets on their toes quickly or even if he runs past them. He's proven that he can do that on numerous occasions on film, and I think he has enough speed to be very effective in the NFL. T. Higgins may not be the fastest guy on the field, but he does make up for it with his route running ability and his catching ability. He's a smooth route runner and with that long stride he has, he can eat up a lot of cushion very quickly. He does a good job of selling his routes vertically, then sticking his foot in the ground and getting out of his breaks. Once he gets by DBs, he does a good job of stacking and using his frame to shield defenders away from the ball. As far as his ability to catch the ball, he uses his long arms to pluck the ball out of the air with ease and he's shown that he has natural hands. Higgins also has a tremendous catch radius. He's consistently made catches from a variety of different angles. He often wins in contested catch situations and he's one of the best at that in this class of receivers. While Higgins isn't an explosive vertical athlete, he plays the ball very well in the air and he has excellent body control. This allows him to make some very acrobatic catches down the field. Higgins already has a natural height advantage, but this combined with his ball skills has made him a reliable red zone target and deep threat. After the catch, Higgins is solid, but nothing spectacular. As I mentioned before, he has good speed and sneaky quickness, but he's not very elusive in the open field, nor is he a very physical runner. He can give you something after the catch if you allow him to, but that part of his game is just okay in my opinion. T. Higgins is slight, but he has added some weight to his frame over the years. I do think he could add some strength once he gets to the NFL though. He's not the most physical receiver, and I'm afraid of how he'll do against some of the bigger and more physical DBs in the league. He's not bad at getting releases at the line of scrimmage, but he does this with quickness as opposed to physicality. Once he goes against a guy that can match his quickness and is physical with him, will he be able to defeat that? In the college football playoff semifinal game against Ohio State, there were several occasions when Higgins was lined up against Jeff Okuda, who was the consensus number one cornerback coming out in the 2020 NFL Draft. Okuda is a big and more physical corner that has elite athletic ability, so he was able to give Higgins some problems in that game. I believe T. Higgins is going under the radar just a bit. This wide receiver class is very deep and has potential to be one of the best we've seen in a long time. Higgins has proven himself enough to be in the conversation as one of the best receivers in this group. I wouldn't be shocked if he went in the first round to a team that was looking for a quality outside receiver. So do you agree or disagree with this breakdown of T. Higgins? Let me know down in the comments and let me know what you think about Higgins' game. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and most importantly subscribe to the channel. See you next time and always remember, film don't lie.